Hi guys, Markin here, the dentist, and um, today I will change the subject a little bit because I had no time to prepare another long dentinar, but um, this uh, created a new idea in my head, uh, which is as written on the beginning, um, Dental MacGyver series with tips and tricks um, in which I will um, try to show you uh, some tricks that I use in my um, daily practice and which you also can use um, if you want um, mainly in restorative dentistry uh, because in fact I do not like to uh, treat uh, teeth uh, in restorative dentistry uh, and this is why some ideas came up in my head how I can easily uh, deal with some difficult um, cases without uh, any um, problems. So, uh, first case presents one of problems that I had, uh, which is a um, situation in which there is lack of one teeth, in this case um, one premolar here, is missing and we wanted to um, restore this area uh, by removing our old restoration and doing a new one and I didn't want it to do it uh, freehand I wanted to place some matrix here to make it easier and to uh, get a better result but it's not so easy as it looks because uh, this interdental space here is very wide and you do not have such a wide wedge to uh, seal this area so you have to figure something out and this is why I came out with idea of two edges okay so what you need to do it is one wedge here I cannot focus oh, damn. okay one wedge diamond wedge okay another wedge with different size a little smaller but in this case also a diamond wedge okay and matrix okay so what basically we did here to make our life a little easier and to do our job a little faster is we placed our matrix here in this interdental space and first we had very wide fissure here about one and a half two millimeters wide and by withholding this matrix with my fingers I placed this blue wedge in this area and also hold it with another finger of the same in this case left hand I took another wedge with which is this yellow diamond wedge I have rotated it 90 degree uh, with comparing to this blue wedge and I inserted it in this area which caused good sealing of this area here without deformating of matrix uh, and cost me to get this kind of result like here very fast and very easy without uh, having or not 
having, but uh, without causing me to do it freehand, which would not give me such a good result. And um, probably would take much long um, time. And I get very good shape of this diff, very good emergence profile, and I did not close this area uh, like I would probably do when I use a ring to, to do it. So I think this trick may make your life a little easier. So let me just show you it again on a gypsum model. But here I had to stick those wedges because they didn't want to hold by themselves. But as you can see, we have matrix placed in interdental area. Then we have our blue wedge inserted and then our yellow wedge rotated 90 degree is inserted inside area that is left between matrix and blue wedge and this makes us possibility to restore this area easily and to get very good and aesthetic result. Uh, you may ask why I did not mm, remove all carriers here. It is because I always remove these carriers after I place the matrix because I do it with Erbium Yak laser. So I do not have risk to uh, destroy this animal or uh, to destroy this matrix. And uh, by doing like this, I have possibility to remove from here all these uh, leftovers after placing the matrix that sometimes are stuck here. So this is why I do it like this. So I hope um, this trick will make your dental life a little easier. And uh, I hope uh, to show you some next uh, tricks in upcoming episodes. Take care, see you next time, bye.